All right, we've been working on masks for FormKit Pro for months now, and they're finally live today. So let's take a look. Okay, so here you can see um, a really basic example. In order to use a mask now in FormKit, you just say type is mask, and then you type the pattern that you wanna use. So here you can see we're um, accepting a US-based phone number. When I click in here, you can see it focuses to the first place where I can enter a number. And when I type, I get all of the formatting for free. When I backspace, you can see all the formatting comes for free. Um, if I copy a number, so let me put in a number here, copy the whole thing, paste it in, it gets pasted with no problems. Uh, here, you know, I can type number values and get those. And as you can see, if I come back in here, this is called shift mode, and I type, it pushes all of the characters further down, as opposed to in replace mode, if I come in here and I type some characters, I'm overwriting the values that are in those uh, positions. And in order to use that, you just slap on here, mode is replace or mode is shift. But one of the most unique features um, of our mask input is the ability to do this other type of mode called select. And it lets you actually click into those areas and select them. And I can use my arrow keys to navigate forward or backwards. I can use tab to navigate forwards and shift tab to navigate backwards. And then when I start typing, I can type directly into those. Um, and then my very, very favorite feature, I'll let you guys explore this, but my very, very favorite feature um, is the ability to do enum types. So enum types basically give you um, an enumerated list here uh, of values that are allowed to go into a particular slot. So here the placeholder for this is month. And as you can see, I get month. And when I click on it, it's select mode. So it selects that month and I can move forward or backwards here. And here's what's really amazing is I can start typing January and it'll auto complete my value. And as you can see, when I do that, I get this um, this, you know, decreasing selection or increasing selection. If I hit backspace now, it selects back. Or I can go July 17, 1999, and I get all of that. And then the trump card on this is I can select any one of these and I can hit up or down and I can actually cycle through the available values for any of these particular inputs. All right, so that's a really quick look at masks. I hope you check it out.